It's been several days since I've made a video because for the last few days it's been pouring down rain and today we finally had a nice day. It didn't get overly hot. It only got up to around 70. But I got a little bit of work done out in the garden. So come along and I'll show you. are blooming nicely. Various colors. The pink one and some white ones. Those daisies, they'll grow another foot or so and then be in glorious bloom. And, oh, I wish I remembered the name of these, but they're, they're so pretty. And more petunias. And, oh, I do need to pull the grass out of the violas here. And uh, looks like this is about ready to bloom too. Yes, okay. Okay, well, the other day we put netting over these and then I put some twigs around the sides to discourage whatever it was that had been hopping in there. But today I've been working on this. This one's going to be more square. And this area where I don't have the, the potting soil or the soil mix still has some rocks in it. People that lived here before us they just put rocks, rocks. You can see all these rocks. Anyway, I've been digging them out and then putting some black gold in. And I haven't totally decided what I'm going to plant in this one yet. It, it gets, doesn't get a little, it isn't sunny all day long because of the trees next real close here. Oh, just a minute, my cord. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so I need something that doesn't require it to be bright sun. Later on, as we get into June and July, August, it will be, it will be um, super hot in the sun anyway. So I think you'll get plenty, whatever I plant will get plenty of heat. I wonder around here, I need, get, need to get all of this grass pulled, pulled down, or you know, the daffodils are done blooming, and I do have some very young iris coming up there, but it's obviously too small to produce any flowers this year. But it should, it should next year, because you can see the <coughs> tubers and what have you there. Okay. Coming along here, I need to do something with this little part. But right here is where I started planting my onions. are coming up great. Right there I have a mole that kind of interrupted things. But oh, here's something. Okay, yes. And I'm hoping that's a bean. That's what I really would like it to be. Because I planted some beans. My mountain cherry, I don't know if it's gonna. Looks like there might be a little bit of a bud there, but. Okay, then I've got these coming up. 
Oh, this looks pretty good. My hosta looks really pretty this year. I don't know if it'll bloom or not. I don't know if I think they do. And then I've got these iris right here. Some of them snuck outside the fence too, I see. That's okay. And my wild rose is lush this year. It's going to be so pretty when it blooms. This is a pink, kind of a salmon -y pink rose. As it comes up, as you can see, the daffodils are done. And we've got little solar lights in here. All of the, all of the petunias that I planted in these pots all turned out to be pink. The patty pan is growing nicely. That kind of snuck outside the fence there too. The bottom part of it is inside the fence, but the flowers snuck out. Oh, and I need to weed the grass out of here again. This grows up so fast. My blueberries are, I don't know, they do so-so. Okay, I planted some rhubarb there. And in this one, I, this is um, eggplant. I planted that a week or so ago and it's doing fine. And some more eggplant. And then this tomato. And I don't remember what kind it is. Kind of trimmed off some of the su suckers and stuff off of it. Looks like I might have a few things finally starting to germinate here. I planted a whole bunch of different flowers. So hopefully they come up. And the thistle has no problems in coming up. I need to go be digging more of it out. And it looks like the lilies are going to be blooming soon. This is a squash and it's doing nicely there and next to these huge thistles is some borage, borage and some thyme that I see if I can zoom in on the thyme so you can see it yes there it is okay the catnip is growing like crazy and again we have some lilies that are going to be blooming here soon and this grass is totally annoying if you know of something to kill the grass somebody said to use grass be gone they didn't have any of it. My husband got some, I said grass and weed killer, but I'm afraid to use it because I don't want to kill off everything. I just want to kill the grass. And I just as soon do it without chemicals, but we'll see. This is, this needs to be something done here so that the um, sprinkler can get to, to the things that are here. My pretty yellow ground cover is kind of quit blooming, but still kind of pretty. 
I don't know what this big plant is. If you know what it is, let me know. It seems to be growing like crazy. Put it in the comments below if you happen to know what it is. And in here I have a and there's a butterfly bush in there somewhere. There's other things too. They seem to be growing. Oh, I wonder if that's comfrey finally coming up. I planted some comfrey and it's like a long time ago and it just takes forever. So I'm hoping that that's what that is and not a weed of some sort that has managed to find its way through. And looking good. And we got look, I plant some peas and there's a few of them coming up there. <clears throat> Onions and potatoes and a wild rose. More onions and potatoes. This is just about ready to bloom. I always thought this was a weed. But I liked it, so I've planted it in several places. And sometimes it self-propagates and sometimes it doesn't. That's a yucca plant. And it looks like I've got another wild... Well, that might be a rose. I'm not sure what it is. It's coming up there. Oh, and this is just about ready to bloom. These blooms will get taller and be really pretty purple. I call this my stinky plant. But I think it's actually called a fireweed. Because when you rub up against it, it has a smell, which is, I don't know, and it's smelly. <laughs> so I call it a stinky plant. I've tried save seeds and plant elsewhere, but they say that it's a difficult one to propagate. So, I haven't had any luck with propagating it. It is, ooh, there, see, I touched it and it is, I can smell it. I have some catnip in some containers and then as you go through here, my regular mint, it is right there. There's one, and there's one down under there, and one there. I have never, have they been here in this area for years, and I have never had a problem with it overtaking this area. My raspberries are looking good. They should be blooming here pretty soon. I planted sunflowers and they're just not coming up. The grass is coming up through the... This grape's looking good. And the one I bought at the store the other day. Of course, looking good too. This one's likely to get tall. I'll train it up on the fence here shortly. And I have more irises. The ones over here are budding, but they're not quite blooming out yet. And those are, they're all purple because the ones that I propagated were purple, propagate, bike propagate, I meant that I 
I just pulled out the rhizomes and put them in different spots. They're all purple. Looks like the camera's making it look more lavender, but it's really a dark purple. My husband pulled out the bush that was here. Oh, I didn't really pull it out, he just cut it down because it was in the way of the sprinkler head sprinkling things. So. But the party did leave, looks like it's blooming. I think it's some kind of a hydrangea. If you happen to know, leave me a message. And here's some more, some more irises poking their heads through there. And then we approach my garden, which is looking good. Again, I always struggle with grass. So I think I have a mosquito on my leg biting me. some calendulas in here. That one looks blooming, but it looks to be done blooming. It'll bloom some more. And the peas are doing okay back there. And all this rain that we've been having, it just makes the, the grass to grow. That particular tomato just is getting really tall. I think it's a black bur sage. I don't know how to say that. And I planted more seeds in here. Well, it looks like some of them are starting to come up right in there. Yay. Okay. Good. I planted tomato or cucumbers or squash or something in this. It just doesn't seem to be pollinating. Or, that isn't the word I want. Germinating is what I meant to say. But my plant here is doing getting new leaves and looking a lot better. That one's getting tall. And then we've got that looking good. I ate a radish today. It looked like it was the only one that was really had a big enough head on it to eat. The rest of them are small. That one has pretty lots of foliage, but the radish itself is small. So can see it or not but some asparagus up uh, asparagus there were some little little bits of asparagus as they came up and, and now the the fern like thing has come up It'll be another year or so before I can eat any of them I think oh we finally got something coming up there yay okay some of that's grass, some of it's onions. And that's garlic, rosemary, and parsley. Bum, da, dum, da, 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 da. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Okay. Several things in here. Some nasturtiums. And some of those little white flowers that come back every year, I forget what they're called, and a tomato. I think the sign says it's a chip key purple. And some of that's that little white stuff, or the little one with a little white flower, but I see I have some cat mint in there too. And my, oh. I knew the name of it until I went to say it.
my clem clematis is going to be blooming pretty soon, I think. It's just really growing tall. Almost to the roof of the porch. Here are my cactuses. I moved them out here because I always forget to water them at all on the porch. And they've overwintered for about three winters now. And they should get plenty of sun here once, once we get lots of sun. And my roses will be coming up here pretty soon. They usually start blooming in June, so they've got a, a couple of two or three weeks yet. I think that might be a sunflower. <laughs> Didn't get it planted last year and it never came up then, but it's coming up now. Lots and lots and lots and lots of hens and chicks in there. And then my California poppies. It's interesting how they fold up their little petals at night to go to sleep. And then I have a, a pepper plant there. Roses are about to bloom. And I see we didn't turn the fountain on today. That's I love listening to that when it's turned on. And then Okay, so obviously I'm going to have some things to plant out here before too long. So these I started out here as opposed to in the house. So I'm going to let them get a little taller and then I'm going to plant them out, plant them fairly close together. <laughs> so oh, I guess I don't need my hat on in the house. I have a cat on my lap. What you doing, Lulu? You come to be on the camera? Can you say hi to everybody? Can you tell everybody you're my pretty blue-eyed kitty cat. Oh, she's off and about to go somewhere. <laughs> well, that was my little tour for today. Just kind of letting you know what's going on. I hadn't made videos for the last few days just because of the weather. And I think it's supposed to rain again tomorrow and the next day. Maybe even Tuesday. Oh, that's... That's just the way it is sometimes in May. It's cold and wintry one day and hot and summery the next day and then it goes back and forth and back and forth. But... My garden doesn't seem too much worse for wear. I was afraid it was getting too much water, but it doesn't seem to have bothered it. So I think that I will just sign up, sign off for today. And I'm going to spend some time watching some of your, some of your videos. <laughs> so that I can keep up with what's going on in your gardens. Oh, there's Lulu again. What you doing, girly? Can you say meow to everybody? Yeah. She's going to sit up on the back of my chair. <laughs> well, here's wishing everyone happy gardening. May the good Lord bless you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, just hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you get notified whenever I make a video. And hit the like button too if you watch this video all the way through. I haven't said much today, but I did want to just kind of check in with y'all. 
because I don't like to go a whole bunch of days without making some kind of a video. And there's some things I could have recorded. I made some homemade crackers. And I've been eating on my homemade yogurt. And this morning I had a banana, blueberry, strawberry, cherry smoothie. Oh, it had yogurt in it too. And my husband built me some cute little shelves. Because I was running out of any place to put things without it, without my cupboards being all confusing and stuff piled on top of other stuff. So it's much easier to find things now. And I've got a lot of work to do here in the house, but I tend to ignore it. <laughs> I'll catch up one of these years. Well, until next time. See you in the next video.